short hair it's really simple um it's nothing new nothing tricky it's just a different kind of way that i curl my hair when it's short as opposed to when it's long if you're returning to my channel welcome back and if you're new my name is katrina and i do beauty related videos um, i'm a hairstylist so i love showing you guys hair tutorials and i also do um like little challenges with my family definitely subscribe if you're not already so i usually like to do a middle part usually i like to find it and like use a comb and make a little part but right now this is kind of how it felt, so I'm going to kind of keep it like that. Always make sure you brush through your hair. So usually I'll use my Kenra Fast Dry Hairspray, but I don't really want the curl to hold that much. So I'm just going to be using heat protectant. You guys know my fave, my the Chi Iron Guard. You can see I get this for $2.99 from Marshalls. At Ulta, this is probably like almost $10, so I definitely stack up on these. I literally, when I go and I see them, I buy like five at a time. So I'm going to start by sectioning my hair into two. And then I'm going to work on this side first. Spray my heat protectant. When I curl my hair, I curl everything the same way. So everything on this side is going to be going back this way. And everything on this side is going to be going back that way. I'll take this whole section. And usually when I do like curls for like um, weddings or like events, I'll usually start like halfway and then bring the curl in if that makes sense but if i want more of a looser wave i'll start like i guess like an inch from the bottom roll it in a little bit and then just roll it in at the top just hold it for a couple seconds and let it go so you see that's like a really loose wave. So I'm going to put that to the back and grab another section. I guess how I kind of like to section it is usually I do like under the ear, the top of my ear, from my eye, and then I'll do one more section up here. You'll see as I do it. Okay, so I think I can take this as one whole piece too. Start like an inch or two from the bottom, roll it in, roll it. okay if like some of the ends are sticking out I kind of think that gives it even like a more messier look and let it go another section so now the next section I usually level it with my eye or my eyebrow you protect it this section I'm gonna split in half as I start to get to the top is when I kind of start to split the sections in half. So then this last section I split in half. Whenever you're doing heat styling, do not forget to do heat protectant. You'd be surprised, like a lot of people do not use heat protectant. And it's crazy because I mean, 350 degrees of heat on your hair without protection, like that's crazy. As you do it, you'll be able to kind of judge like how big or how small of a section you can take. So the reason I like to do it this way is because it just gives more weight to the bottom as opposed to if I started up higher, the curls would be higher up and tighter. So I have this first side done. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'll get back to you. <laughs> mess with it I'll kind of just let it fall on its own but also sometimes I kind of just like to run my fingers through just a little bit so I just kind of like to shake it if you want you can even like flip your hair over so I, I kind of like when it forms like this 
Um, I know some people don't like when their curls bunch together, so if you don't like that, instead of curling your hair the same way, you can alternate the way you curl it. So, so let's say you took this front piece and you curled it back, the next piece behind it, you can curl it to the front. It's not really like a messy curl, but it's a little more relaxed than a tighter curl. That makes sense so when my hair is shorter i usually don't use my the camera fast dry hairspray just because i kind of like when it um really like loosens down and it almost looks like my hair has a slight wave to it i don't mind if the curls drop too much but um my hair my hair for the most part holds curl well so even if i didn't put hairspray right now or hadn't put the fast dry hairspray my curls would pretty much be intact the whole day again the difference um of how i curl my hair when it's short is i basically just kind of grab the ends and wrap the hair up. That way you have more of a looser wave um, towards the bottom as opposed to having the wave start you know, up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was something simple, but I like making videos that are really simple that people can actually do. I know there's a lot of things that I can't even do to my own hair, so I don't wanna make a video to where I'm showing you guys something like really intricate. And to somebody who really doesn't do hair like that, it's going to be like, no, I can't do that. You know, so I really enjoy showing you guys tutorials that, you know, are actually doable for somebody that really doesn't have experience with hair or trying to gain experience with hair. I like showing videos that, you know, you can actually do at home yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and hit the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. Comment down below what you think of this style. Comment down below if there's any styles you want to see me do or any videos in particular. Not doesn't have to be hair related, but any videos you want to see. I really enjoyed the story time video the other day, so if there's any story time videos you want to see me do, just comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>